Hey everybody, um, today's Thursday and uh, just got out of a uh, Walmart, decided to stop by a Walmart and uh, just kind of check out what was going on. I've heard crazy things about what's happening with uh, lines at Costco, Walmart, Target, and all these places due to the coronavirus and everybody, you know, just kind of freaking out and jumping out and stocking up on a whole bunch of stuff. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd, I'd, I'd just give a few thoughts about it. Um, so, so I went to the Walmart to just check it out and walk around. That's really why I went. And it en actually ended up being a pretty good trip for me. But I, I wanted to give just a few thoughts about where we're at right now. Um, for those that don't know, I'm a pastor of a church, City Life, here in Los Angeles. And um, we're right now having to figure out and deal with everything related to this and, and keeping track of what the government's saying and and the types of meetings they, they they want everybody, us, churches, and others to have, conferences, public gatherings, all those types of things. So so uh, my wife, Evelyn, and I are, are keeping close watch on this, and uh, we've been watching the news, watching the spread of everything, and just really paying attention to what's going on, not to be freaked out, but to be informed. And um, so in all this, I, I just thought I'd, I'd do a quick video and say a couple of thoughts maybe more than a couple first of all was this be be prepared not perturbed be prepared not perturbed you know what it, it's good to be prepared but it's not good to be worried and, and and so much of scripture uh for those of you that are believers that believe in jesus christ literally jesus preaches against worry um he does preach in favor of being prepared but not in being perturbed, not in being worried about what's going to happen tomorrow or later on. And and here's what I've realized. A whole lot of people, because they're driven by fear rather than faith, are are jumping to places and they're not just stocking up on one bag, you know, of, of toilet paper or of water or whatever it is that they're getting. They're They're stocking up on as much as they possibly can. And here's the problem. The problem is, 10% of the population of the city, more or less, is going to get more than what they need, and the other 90% will be left with nothing. And so that type of fear doesn't actually resolve anything when you have the vast, large majority of people unable to access resources because some people have hoarded or taken as much as they possibly can. And so that type of fear or worry does no good for anybody. So I want to encourage you first, be prepared instead of per perturbed. Uh, live by faith rather than by fear. The second thing I wanted to share with you guys is this. Um, take take precautions as are necessary. You know, make sure, um, and, and doctors are saying this, um, World Health Organization, the U.S. government, everybody's saying this. Make sure that you're washing your hands a lot and um, washing them for 20 seconds with soap and water, or or if you got you know like a like a hand sanitizer with a good alcohol content that that uh, is good to clean your hands, do that. Um, and uh, just take care. Take care to not be you know touching your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth with dirty hands, that type of stuff. Good to be uh, precautious or to take those precautions and make sure that you are good to go on that front. And especially, um, we, we've noticed as, as the reporting has been going out that this virus has a massive impact on people that are um, in their older age, you know, 60 years old, 70 years old on up. Um, it hasn't had much of a big impact on younger people, on kids, children, and youth. Uh, thank God for that. Um, but as it pertains to you, uh, make sure that you are cautious, not only for yourself, but others around you as well. Um, the third thing I wanted to share with you guys is uh, think about substitutes. Um, I, I noticed that when I was walking through the Walmart, um, everybody had taken the, the soups, pretty much all those were gone. Uh, secondly, the pastas were gone. And, uh, and, and it's easy to, to get into a place and be like, man, th this is the only item I can do, right? There was plenty of fresh fruit because everybody's going, no, I, what's the point of fresh fruit? It's going to spoil a day or two later. But you know what? There were tons of grapes, tons of grapes. And you know what I love? I love 
frozen grapes. And that is a great substitute because those will keep for weeks on end and you can use them as you need to. And what I realized is there's a lot of things you can substitute. People are worried about toilet paper, um, but there's even substitutes for that. Um, you can obviously use paper towels, but that's not the only thing. Um, there's substitutes. And so don't get stuck on just one item as being the only way to make it happen. Um, there's a whole lot of other options to make sure to take care of yourself. If you get in a situation where you are uh, needing to be, you know, quarantined or just at home and not being able to go out anywhere. And lastly, number four, last thing, my friends, you follow Jesus, trust God trust God. I'm dead serious. And trusting God is not in words. It's actually in our actions that we choose to trust God. While everybody is freaking out and going crazy and getting to all the stores and standing in long lines because they're worried there's going to be nothing for them, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths or make your paths straight. Let me give you a prime example of this. I told you at the beginning of the video, I walked into Walmart just to check it out. I wasn't even planning on buying anything. And while there were uh, crazy long lines and other places for bottles of water, which I don't even know why, because uh, most people have fridges with filters, or you get a Brita filter, right? Substitutes, good thing. Um, there was no line for the waters in the Walmart I went to, and I had no intention of getting anything. And then while I was walking through the store, just checking stuff out, I realized that all of a sudden they had received a shipment of toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper. And there was a line, and the line was about five minutes long, no more than 10 minutes. You see this? Yeah, yeah. The guy that was not even planning to buy anything just happened to come upon the perfect moment and the perfect opportunity to get one extra package of toilet paper. My friends, trust God. Literally, just trust God. You don't need to, you know, run around crazy trying to figure out what's going on. Trust God, do what you need to do, and God is going to take care of you. Be a person of peace because that peace is something that you, as a believer, can transmit to other people people. Okay, I got to get off this video. God bless you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything, feel free to uh, post or comment, whether this is on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you might be at. God bless you.